A Merry Christmas from WSOU, South Orange. Our Christmas special continues now on WSOU. This is John O'Hara, and once again, here's Al Telesio. In the year 1871, the United States was preparing to celebrate its 100th birthday. The vexing problems of black-white relations and sectional conflict had somewhat been pushed aside, and the nation's people were turning to other, newer concerns. The woman question, the practicality of compulsory education, the need for more parks in big cities, the need for preserving the beauties of the American continent. All these things were reflected in the pages of one of the country's most circulated magazines, Scribner's Monthly. To the modern reader, its articles present a nostalgic picture of life and thought in the United States a century ago. The nation was a lot smaller then, and its language more stilted, and its tone of discourse far more religious. At Christmas tide, exactly 100 years ago, the readers of Scribner's who turned to page 341 of the current issue found in simple, unadorned typeface this Christmas wish, written by the editors so that all perusing the four brief paragraphs might celebrate Christmas with the same simplicity of the story of Christ's birth itself. We pity the man who can find nothing in this holiday but an occasion of social merrymaking and the bestowal and interchange of gifts, and who fails to realize that it commemorates the beginning and the source of more blessings than he can count. The hat he wears, the coat that covers him with comfort, the house that shelters him, the culture that gives him personal and social value, the books that fill his library and enrich his leisure, the institutions that organize his privileges in church and state and society the pictures that adorn the walls of his dwelling, the gentleness of character and the harmony of social relations that make life so sweet and safe in contrast with the conditions of the savage existence. And even the quality of the air he breathes, for climate is modified by changes wrought through Christian civilization. These and countless more are the result of the wonderful life that nearly 1900 years ago drew its first breath in a stable, while the great star looked on and the angels tunefully told of God's good will to men. The life that began then and there became the way to happy immortality in heaven. The leader then born, himself perfection, took his place at the front of progress, and every excellence achieved by individuals and nations has been the result of a faithful following in his shining footsteps. What are we in all that is admirable and desirable in character and condition, that is not directly traceable to the manger in Bethlehem. The being introduced to an earthly existence there brought with him the means for the transformation and the redemption of a race. The best civilization the world has ever seen was founded upon the principles of religion which he taught. All institutions have been good just in the proportion in which they have incorporated his spirits and his precepts. The noblest inspirations of art in cathedrals and pictures and statuary have been drawn from him. In ten thousand ways he is the fountain of the world's life, and those who contemn his person and his mission must do it dissuaded by the blessings which he bears to them during every moment of their lives. Let all the children wish each other a Merry Christmas, and in the gifts that come to them realize a pleasure which no other day of the year can bestow. They are young, and they can know little more than the simple fact that their hands are full of good because Jesus Christ was born. But with us, who are older, the day should be one of profound gratitude and of sweet, solemn pleasure. We commemorate the birthday of a personal friend or a public benefactor with gay festivities. But the birthday of a divine redeemer of a race calls for emotions deeper than merriment and rites more dignified and significant than the eating of a dinner. A Merry Christmas, then, to the children, and a deeply happy and grateful Christmas to all. The editors of Scribner's Monthly, December 1871. Thank you, Al. May the joy and peace of Christmas be yours this night and throughout the coming year.
In the finest tradition of informative and educational broadcasting, this is WSOU, South Orange, New Jersey.